Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Bottle Pilgrim. It's new on Steam. It's made in Unreal Engine 4 and we're um we're going to play it. This game saves as you progress through chapters. Okay. Gotcha. I'm with it. Chapter 1. Shiny Waterfall. That's what we're doing. I don't know what a Bottle Pilgrim is. But there's a car involved. Oh. Okay. Yep. Right. So we just... We got out of a car. There's no sound now. Oh, there's our car. Right. Okay, so we're... We're walking simulator styles. Oh, we can jump. Look at that jump, man. I like to go for long walks. Walks that cleanse the lungs and cleanse the spirit. This walk, though, has particular meaning for me, and it's a pilgrimage I make every year at this time. Okay. So we've got some voice acting. Serviceable. Don't know why my, why my camera's flashing. The lighting in here is pretty consistent, but whatever. Yep. It's quite pretty. It is quite pretty. We'll give it that. We'll grab a screenshot. Yeah. I mean... These, uh, these walking simulators always have really pretty piano music, which is nice, you know, so I suppose they might make some money on selling the, uh, the OST, you know, the original soundtrack, in case you didn't know what OST was. Although everyone that's watching this probably does. Okay. So is there a choice? Or, no, there's no choice. We can't go that way. Nope, can't go that way. We're gonna go this way. I like walking. Yeah, we got that lens flare. Some JJ Abrams style lens flare. Very pretty. So we'll grab a we'll grab that screenshot there. I mean that's what you do in these games, right? Is you take screenshots. You walk around, you take pictures of everything. It's like it's like walking. It's like simulated I walking. I can remember every detail of my wife's appearance, even though she's been gone for nearly ten years. I remember how her cheekbones would rise when she smiled. I remember her long, raven black hair flowing down her back like a shiny waterfall. I also remember how she looked without hair. Okay, so... Cancer wife? Got it? I suppose that's a bit glib. Sorry. Um, oh, I want to go up there. I want to go up to the thing. There's something interesting up there, and I want to go up to it. You're not going to tell me I can't go up there, because I'm going up there. All right? Yeah. Yeah. That's how we do things. We go to places, and we do things. All right? There's a tire. There's whatever that is. Okay. Right. There's a bucket, and, and that. I don't... Well, we got whatever that was. We got it. We've successfully gained the thing. All right. Um, nope. We've already been down there. We're going to go across this bridge now. Because that's where we're meant to go. Dun, 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 dun. This is the running speed, by the way. There's no faster. This is walking. We can go this We can go this speed if you guys want. Then it feels more like a... Uh, uh, oh my god, a benchmark test. This is, this is more like walking. This is what I would expect, like a walking speed. Yeah. Oh, there's like another house. Boing. Do I have feet? I do not have feet. Okay, no feet. I am no feet Joe. Just call me... Joe. Right. Can we go up? I wanna go up. Up, up. Nope, can't go up. Okay, no going up. We can only go down. She chose down. I don't know if you guys remember that from the labyrinth. Those hand things that are kind of nightmare inducing. Um, when she, they're like, um, up or down. And they're all made of hands and it's like puppeteers trying to like give you nightmares. Yeah, that was, that was freaky. I liked it. I like it. And I especially like, ooh, this is a pretty waterfall. I especially like it as an adult. It's like cool. Like the puppeteering required for that is really cool. But um, as a child, it's pretty terrifying. Right. So that's just, that's closed. Okay. I feel like, uh, did I go in there? 
I did go in there. Yeah, I went in there first. I thought I saw something over here, though. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay, let's just keep going. Yeah, I mean, with these kind of games, you sort of... Oh, there's an animal. It's a pig. You can you can sort of run out of stuff to say really quickly. There we go. That'll be a, that'll be a really good screenshot for my um, for my thumbnail there. Um, yeah, you run out of stuff to say when nothing happens. Like there's nothing happening in the story. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So pigs run like that sometimes. That's fine. Pretty waterfall. Can we go in the water? We can. Excellent. Some flowers. Tree, rock, plant. Yeah. She was still beautiful, and she could still smile, but not as often as she used to. The sickness came and went quickly enough, but when it went, it took her with it. I was only 31 years old at the time. She, 33. Our daughter, Emily, had only recently turned six. So, I like the fact that there is uh, voice acting. I'm just... And I'm not trying to be too critical, but I, the, the, the emotional choices that he's making with his voice... They... they it, it definitely feels like someone reading a script rather than someone telling me about a story, you know? Like, or, or it, like yeah, he, it feels like he's telling me a story that he's reading rather than relating a memory. Um, so that's... I don't know. That, that is what it is it's fine let's bump into these pigs and make them go make them go running yeah oh that's fun all right fine we'll stop messing with pigs oh I got an achievement there was an achievement it said squee awesome they knew that people were gonna want to mess with the pigs so that's good. Right. Um, so I still don't know why I'm collecting those things. I'm pretty sure I still can't go up this thing. Yep, still can't go up there. So we just continue on. So one of the mistakes that these games make is uh, the assumption that walking or just walking around in the environment is enough. Um... And, you know, with the music, you can get away with quite a lot of that, but... Okay, so games like Firewatch, for instance, there was always a reason to be out doing stuff. Um, you know, it's a it is a walking simulator game. There's a few... There's a little bit of light puzzling, but essentially... It's hard enough for a parent to raise a young child on their own. Doubly so when the child is of the opposite gender. Yet that's precisely the predicament I found myself in when Cassandra died. Do you see what I mean about his voice? It's... It's okay, he's like... But that's that's the predicament I found myself in when, Cons when Cassandra died. And I just... Uh, I don't know, man, it just doesn't feel like there's any weight to it. Like... It's okay. It's okay, this is... This is eminently playable, you know? And I am sort of interested in... The story as it's unfolding, sort of? The gameplay is certainly not interwoven with it at all. We have a... By all means, okay, both sets of grandparents did their best to help out, but my pride dictated that I could only ask so much of them. I needed to prove to everyone, not least of all myself, that I could do this. I had no desire to be the all but absent father that my own had been, and endeavored to spend as much time as I could caring for my daughter in the most direct way possible. I won't deny that the odd drink came in handy during this early period, but it was yet to become a problem. So that was a bit better. He had a bit of a, a bit more oomph, you know? Um, I could, I could kind of feel a little bit there. I could feel a little bit of what he was talking about, you know? He wanted to do something different than his father, you know? Like, I'm down with that. I can get with that. Right. Oh, now we do have a choice, don't we? Okay, well, let's go left. I like going left rather than right. They always say, turn left in the dungeon rather than right in the dungeon. Okay, 
And this is... Oh, just one of these things. Awesome. That is a weird sound effect, though. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna deny that. That is a weird sound effect. Yeah, so... So, so far, the game is very pretty. Um, but the... The walk and the collectibles have nothing to do with the story. Other than, supposedly, we are this guy who's walking. Um, and he's the bottle pilgrim. Which suggests, I guess, that at some point we're going to find out that he's an alcoholic. Which we sort of just did, right? That he said. Um, and we'll find out that he did some bad stuff to his daughter as an alcoholic. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I couldn't possibly guess. Um, oh, more pigs. The pigs are... The pigs are definitely the most fun in the game so far. Yeah. Yeah, the pigs are definitely the most fun in the game. Um, so yeah, the, the notion uh, that a player will enjoy themselves by just walking around rather than having any gameplay, I don't know. I have played walking simulators, playing Gone Home. Gosh, my nose is itchy. Gone Home is a, a really good example of a walking simulator. There's nothing, there's nothing to do but walk around and look at stuff, and you unveil the story by looking at stuff and playing tapes and reading notes and hearing her thoughts. But, so far, with this game, um, the story... Much greater challenges in the early days were the ones that people would think almost trivial. Ensuring my daughter was safe when she used public restrooms and that she cleaned herself properly when she was in the bathtub responsibilities that would normally fall upon the female parent when there is one. Emily was still very young at the time, of course, but old enough to feel awkward that her father was checking in on her during her more private moments. There's no denying that the presence of a woman would have alleviated much of the burden cast suddenly upon both of our lives. Yeah. So anyways, as I was saying, um... You know, there, I, I've played and enjoyed tons of walking simulators. Um, but yeah, there's always something to them. There's always a reason to be doing stuff. Gone home, you know, there's the mystery of your parents. There's the... Like, where is everyone? You know, it's got, like... Gone home manages to be, like, a little bit tense because you're not sure where, where anyone is. Firewatch, because, you know, you have a job. You're there to, like, look out for fires. So far, I have not... Yeah, I don't know. The whole story is being exposed to us by this guy talking. Which is fine, but yeah, not it's not linked to anything that we're doing. I don't I don't really feel like I'm part of this, you know. Basically, I'm I'm walking to make the guy say stuff. I'm not walking because I want to explore. I'm walking cuz that's the only way to get more of the guy saying stuff. So, you know. Yeah, sweet. So when you when you get a oh, can we I can't get in there. Okay. So when you get a story that's like, could be equally well delivered by just listening to the um, voice recordings without the actual gameplay. I don't know, man. I don't know. You've heard, yeah, we've had this music before, but that's fine. We'll listen to it. It's better than the silence, the random periods of silence. Um, I do like the music, it's very pretty. It's not like I didn't try to meet other women after Cassandra's passing. I even went on the odd date, but, well, between my teaching job and my responsibilities as a single parent, it was hard to not only find the time, but to find someone to babysit for the evening, without calling upon the goodwill of the grandparents yet again. Most of all, though, it was impossible to find someone to fill the yawning void that Cassandra had left in her wake. Right. So the writing's not bad. Like I said, I just, uh, yeah. I feel like the, the voice actor could be delivering the lines with a little bit more emotional weight. Why are all these buildings here? I don't, that's one of the questions that I have is that we're, we're on this walk and this is like, there's a boat on the roof of this building, um, which is fine. Yeah, let's go up to the, go up in the boat, I guess. And then, and then we say, I'm on a boat, and I'm going fast, and... Like that. And then people know what I'm talking about, because this is 2007. Um, and people that don't know what I'm talking about had 
They missed out. They missed out. Um, can you guess what kind of Afghan I have? The nautical theme Askmina one. Right. I have no batteries. Okay, there's some batteries here. I can see them. Give me the batteries. I never asked you to be alone, my sweet. You'd have had my blessing if you had found someone else. All I would have asked is that she be a good mother to Emily. That is a weird thing to come out of a radio. Is the dude that I'm playing, is he like, is he crazy? Yeah, he's crazy. So we're 15 minutes into the game and the first genuinely interesting thing just happened. Yep. And that was cool. I like that. Um... The rest of it's just been sort of walking around, and that's fine, but, you know, if someone was looking for something to, like, uh, if I wasn't doing for the, this for a video, I might have not felt compelled to get to this point, um, to the point where the interesting things start happening. And even then, the interesting thing is only just interesting enough, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everything that I'm saying about this is negative, but I mean, the, the positive things... Oh, everything's turning white, okay? The positive things kind of speak for themselves, you know? It's very pretty. Um, it has very nice music. Uh, there's a lot of craft that's gone into it, at least with the sound design and, uh, you know, the story, the writing and everything. And, you know, I appreciate that they're telling a story. Oh, this is cool. Um, right, this is, it's very pretty again. So they're very good at making... Ah, yes, I remember this evening. My wife left a note for me with a friend of ours who worked at a place called Danny's Cafe. She always did like her little games. We had a lot of good times in this district, made a lot of good friends, enjoyed a lot of good meals, but there are unfortunately other memories which I associate with this place. Right. Yeah, so they're, they're very good at creating, like, pretty, uh, landscapes, you know, pretty places for us to walk through. And that's awesome. I'm not sure why things are, like, fading in and out. That's a bit weird, but that's fine. Oh, there's a playground. Cool. We found that quickly. Well, we get some sound of people playing. And there's a, there's a bunny. Or a kangaroo. Sorry, it's not a... It's, Okay, well, I can't, I can't grab it or anything. All I can do is hear voices. Okay, well, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. There's nowhere to go from here. All right, let's go back. Just keep walking around, I guess. Definitely thought that that was the way, but okay. Let's try and go into a house. Nope, didn't think so. That's all right. We're still walking. We're still going. Ooh, that's got a sign on it. Opening hours? They're never open, because it's... Everything is, uh, empty and deserted. Because as soon as you put actors into it, it becomes... Difficult. Um, right. Where did we... We didn't go this way last time. I think. Right, let's go. Let's go down here and see what's going on. There's a wall. Well, we can walk past it, surely. We can. Nice. Right. Oh. There we go. The note says, Dearest, come meet me at O'Doyle's at 6.30. Oh, but one small favor along the way. Emily says she left Kiri in the playground. You know how upset she gets without her bunny rabbit. Oh, dear. Still, I guess I'm not one to judge. I've been known to get a bit negligent from time to time myself. That's really not, that's, I mean, that's fine. It's annoying though, because I was at the playground and I feel like I should have been able to grab the bunny rabbit when I was there before. So now I'm having to go all the way back to the play. No. Yeah. I have to go all the way back to the playground where I just was. So there's some significant backtracking. That's annoying. Um, oh. They're like moving now. Cool. Ghosts. 
Got it. That's one errand run. Next stop, O'Doyle's. <laughs> O'Doyle rules! Hey, there's another nostalgic Excellent, uh, thing. Excellent, O'Doyle. Nice meeting you. Well, uh, you know what? Ah, the aromas of this district. The delectable scent of recently roasted coffee beans, freshly cut cake, and all manner of chocolatey delights. Truly a gastronome's paradise. So I might actually um, edit some of that stuff in for you guys because it will be fun. Is this O'Doyle's? The last time Cassandra asked me to meet her here at night, it was to tell me she was pregnant. I wonder what the big news will be this time. I have no idea. Is this O'Doyle's though? Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. We're here. All right. There we go. Black screen. Nice. Next. Chapter two, Little Mermaid. Let's have it. I'm ready. Ooh, nice. I'll take a screenshot of that. Like I said, a lot of this is just about taking screenshots of stuff. So we're standing on the edge of this rock mountain thing. Okay. Let's go scare that bird away. If if I can't be happy, neither can he. Yeah! Get away from here. Yep. I'm just going for a walk in the rain. Like any normal person does. And we get lots of um, water effects on the on the glass. Dun. Somehow, teaching children of early high school age had done little to prepare me for the task of raising a child not many years younger. She still had an innocence at her age, while the scamps that I taught, I'm being a bit harsh of course, but, well, the students that I taught were in the process of growing up very quickly. A little too quickly, some of them. I sincerely hoped that my Emily wouldn't be quite so precocious by the time she was that age. Right, so we're in a new area, so there's another five things to find. But I have no idea what they're for. Um, like whether they unlock extra memories or anything. And so then I don't feel comp any compulsion to search for them. Um, they just, they feel like they're a distraction from unlocking the actual story, you know? So like there's probably one up here, right? Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a stab in the dark and say that if I go up this way, I'm gonna find one of these things. And that my only reward for going up here is finding one of those things. Oh, what is this thing? An umbrella. I found an umbrella. Yeah, so now I'm finding umbrellas. But I don't know why. Like I said, I don't know why I'm finding umbrellas. But I am gonna find some umbrellas. Right, this uh this this video is running a bit long. Um we'll we'll do this chapter and then uh, and then I might call it. Uh, you gotta give it to Unreal Engine though. It does look very pretty. What's up? Can I go up there? Yeah, is there another is there another thing up here? Nope. There's nothing up here. Okay. It is, yeah, it is very pretty. Even on a even on a fairly simple game like this. So in Unity this would look a lot worse, I feel. Not that Unity's a bad engine, it's just that the Yeah. It's the engine that people use when they want to just spit out cheap games. Um, but it's also that it's also the engine use people use when they want to make some good games. But yeah, it's harder to tell when those are Unity because they they usually remove the made in Unity thing because they don't want to be tarnished by the name of Unity. And here we are here we are talking about Unity in a game that is completely made in a different engine, Unreal Engine, um, which is yeah annoying. So. Let's just keep walking and listening to pretty music and letting the rain. Actually, if if I was actually in this place, I would probably like that. I quite like rain. I like lots of rain. Actually, I like any kind of rain. I like rain, I like windy rain, and yeah. But this is nice rain, I like it. I'm down, I would be down for it to be raining like this all the time. Okay. No, there's nothing in there. Alright, we're just, we're off for uh, another walk. Oh, this is, this is the same walk. 
We're on the same walk that we were before, but now it started to rain. That's why it looks so familiar. Okay. I'm with it. I'm following. I'm on board, team. I'm on board. Okay, we lost our music again. Yeah, when the music goes away, the game gets a lot less interesting. Because now we're just moving, like, exceptionally slowly through muddy, wet terrain. Which is not as fun. Right? We'll walk across this river. As you do. As you do. Dun dun. There's that bird that I scared away. He's out for revenge. Revenge bird is what I like to call him. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, how are you guys? You guys good? You enjoying yourself? I mean, if you've made it this far in the video, you're keen to see what happens in the story as well. Why are we going back across? <laughs> okay. Just so that we can enjoy the water physics. Love it. I'm sure it's not going to be the first time, or, or it's not even going to be the last time, or the second to last time. Ooh, that water is just flowing straight into the rock there. It's fine. It's fine, team. We're just walking. I'm walking. Look at me. I'm walking. Uh. Oh, here we go, music. I enjoyed taking my daughter on short trips, well away from the city. I didn't want her knowing nothing but schools and streets, which my own life almost seemed to consist of. I figured that she needed to breathe a bit of nature every once in a while, enjoy a bit of fresh air. It's one thing to civilize a child, but another to deny them their childhood altogether. We both seem to like the beach, especially. Excellent. Right. Can we get in there? Is there an umbrella? No. All right. Well, let's just keep going. Are we on the way to the beach? Is that the is that the trick? I just want to get to the next chapter. I'm sorry, guys. This is running a long time. That's fine. You guys, you guys are probably like, "Whoa, this is such a good story." What's back here? I'm gonna guess there's an umbrella. Oh, there isn't. Okay, no umbrella there. Yep. We'll just keep keep on trucking. Right. We're turning right instead of left. Okay, we gotta turn left. Oh, there's the umbrella that we were looking for. And then we've gotta go around again. Yeah, like I said, I don't feel rewarded for getting these, so... Yeah, I mean, it just it kinda appears and you catch it and... It is what it is what it is. Alright, come on. Man, this is like a hell of a walk. If I tried to take my kids on a walk like this, that'd be crazy. They'd be like, no, we're not going. No beach is, work, is worth walking this far, Dad. And I'd be like, yep, yeah, you're probably right. But isn't the rain cool? Is something that I might say. All right, there's lots of these abandoned towers and things. Clearly, we're really like in the middle of a abandoned civilization that had lots of wars with all these guard towers. Oh, what's this down here? We're coming up on something interesting, maybe. We had that ghost before. That was, like, fairly interesting. Yeah. We got some thunder. Like it. Maybe there's another ghost. So, yeah, so the last interesting thing to happen was the ghost. And that was 15 minutes ago, so we must be due for another... Emily loved the water. In another life, I believe she could have easily been a fish. Sometimes I even called her my little mermaid. She loved the sand, too, and liked to build things with it. One day, I helped her make a fairy tale castle and cast her, only in her mind, of course, as a kind of mermaid Rapunzel, trapped in a tower far beneath the water, her long hair flowing with the winds of the waves. Yep. Cool. We're just, uh, walking. This is like a long walk. It's a cool bridge, though. Don't know what it's for. I have no idea where this guy would be. I, and I think that's the other thing that's, like, weird, is that, like, we're supposed to be on a walk that makes us remember our daughter, but I have no idea where any- where this would be. Like, this... 
feels very unreal. Surreal. Uh, it's not really surreal, it's just unreal. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we'll just keep going. We're still not there yet, I guess. And we're at the 30 minute mark. Well, you know what? You know, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it. Um, and we'll go look at the description. All right, Bottle Pilgrim is a story of loss, regret, and redemption, which reminds us that while we cannot change the things we have done, we can always learn from our mistakes. Okay. So, buy games by Tunguk Bodur. Drizzle Path, right? Uh, looks fairly similar to what we've got here. Drizzle Path Genie. Okay, what else have we got? Bottle. These all feel like sort of like iterations on the... Okay. So let's read about the game. Uh, I can remember every de detail of my wife's appearance, even though she's been dead for nearly 10... Oh, that's the start. A man makes a personal pilgrimage from the top of a mountain to a beach far below. Bottle Pilgrim is a story of lost regret and redemption, which reminds us that while we cannot change the things we've done, we can always learn from our mistakes. A highly immersive first-person walking simulator with full voice narration and a running time of over an hour. Oh, so we're like halfway through it. Um, relaxing gameplay with very light puzzle elements and some collectible items. Seven unique locations levels ranging from spacious outdoor environments to more claustrophobic interiors. A wide variety of lighting and weather conditions including rain, snow, and a beautiful beach setting at sundown. That's spoilers. Um, atmospheric sound design with dynamic music designed to carry the player through the highs and lows of their journey. An emotionally charged storyline spread across a 20-year period told through a combination of flashbacks and the present day. Right. So, yeah. Dear Esther. Okay, so this is the... Oh, these are the people that made Dear Esther. I, I played that. Okay. Right. Proteus. Oh, I played Proteus as well. Right. So this is, this is the developer that makes walking simulators. That's cool. That's cool. Um... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like I said, the the voice acting's like ooh, a bit off. It doesn't have a lot of emotive punch to it. I don't feel, I don't feel like the narrator feels anything most of the time. Um, the game is very beautiful, obviously, uh, and yeah, the music's nice. But sometimes it's not there. Sometimes there's no music and you're just walking. So I don't know. I I feel like if the gameplay only consists of enjoying beautiful scenery while listening to beautiful music, that the music should be there, otherwise we're just listening to, watching beautiful scenery and that gets old very quickly without anything sort of to carry us through. So, just a suggestion, but hey, do what you like. Um, yep, and we'll leave it there. Um, that's Bottle Pilgrim. Uh, you can pick it up on Steam right now for $6.74 New Zealand, which is about, what, five bucks US? Uh, yeah, it's probably worth your time if, you, if you're into this kind of game. Um, yeah, so make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you next time. Class dismissed.